Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we learned that how we can install the pre-request trees. So how you, you can install the cashier, stripe and stuff like that. So if you are not familiar with this one, you can watch my previous video where I explained step by step. So now the time is to ready our user form and then charge our customer. So let's uh, take eye on this uh, cashier documentation. So first you need to uh, make your model billable, right? So let me go to the text editor and I'm going to use this uh, user model. This is uh, by default come with the Laravel installation. So let me uh, copy the, copy this space. Okay, paste this here and uh, here I need to add this billable trait, okay? And now this user model can uh, can uh, get this billable uh, method. Now user can get this uh, billable methods, right? So let me go to the definitions. So it's contained uh, uh, three to four traits and these traits contain different methods. So you can check this from this billable. So I will explain it later. Okay, this is our user model. We added this uh, billable trait and uh, if you want to uh, add this in the custom model like uh, not in the user model so you need to register this in your cashier right and here you need to specify your model name so this is a user so we don't need to do this okay next step you need to grab your api keys so let me grab these api key in my project so go to the env file and here i'm to going to add them at the end of this env file okay let me update this uh, update these keys and uh, i added these keys here so this key is not completed so you can get your key so i'm not uh, showing you this proper key okay so you can get it your dashboard so how you can get this go to the uh, click on this developers and click on this api's keys and here this is the publish key and this is secret key when you click on this so it will reveal the key. Okay, let me close this out. So here uh, we added this uh, step and what is the next? If you want to set your currency, you can use this, right? So let's go here and add this. So I want to add this uh, GBP, which is the pound currency, okay? And then what is the next step? If you want to add this for locale, you can add this. You can also add this for text calculation. It will auto calculate this calculate the strike taxes so i'm not going to do this i will do this in the letter maybe okay we successfully added our uh, models and now our model is ready so now the time is to ready the controller and work on this so let me click on this login and i'm i, I have registered uh, one user here and i'm going to log in this user okay this user is this one and let me log in this user Okay, after login, it will redirect us on the home page and I'm going to update this home page. Here I want to add the user form where user can fill the uh, it's called credentials. Click on this and it's a home page. Great. It's by default Laravel 9 page. Okay. I have uh, prepared this. You can get this from, let me scroll down, down, down. And you can uh, add this form using this uh, Laravel documentation. Copy this stuff. These are there are also scripts which will add the card uh, card holder field name and uh, card number and stuff like that. But this will not uh, uh, catch the exact error. You need to append this to a div and stuff like that. So I'm not going to do this because uh, I want to uh, uh, go through this uh, from blog because i'm not going to waste your time so let's go here this um, this is a medium so you can get to uh, a regular updates from this medium platform okay so here let me add this for using we will use this in the future okay so let's go here let me show you through this uh, config config and here we need to find your a file what is the file name you can check this from there so it's a file is services.php file so click on the services.php file and at the end of these arrays you need to paste this here right in the writers so yes save this one go back and uh, let me create a controller first and then i will show the form but our form is displaying from the uh, from there displaying the home page 
so let me open the home page again and i'm going to uh, copy the form elements here okay this is the style so let me add this style at the top so i'm going to yield this yield and uh, not yield here i'm going to use a section here you know section why we use this so section styles and and star and section why i'm <laughs> this save okay save this one so let me uh, make this in the layout okay here after this yield this section so this uh, these uh, style sheet will be rendered here right so now the time is to add our you are logged in here so we are in the bootstrap card right so you need to paste your form here okay let me uh, copy this form okay paste it here and then what is the next next you need to add your scripts file right so let me uh, create a new section what is the name of section section is called scripts okay so let me yield this in the main okay click on this app and after the end of this here we need to yield this yield and then this uh, this script will be rendered here right which we define them here okay so let me uh, go there and then you need to copy these scripts okay 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 and yes so paste them well as here so it's saying that no it's saying anything oh and here you need to uh, mention your stripe key but we already did this so let's go to the env file we name this uh, stripe key so this is the public key right so our public key is uh, env it will get this from env variable okay and then here you, uh, this is the uh, yeah, and everything is good so let's go here give it a refresh and check that is it working for us okay it says that undefined okay plons is undefined why because this plons uh, contains uh, here this one is a plon so we don't need these plons for because we are going to first single charge and then we will move further to the plons okay this is the very nice uh, page of debugging in the laravel 9 so that's great i personally liked it okay it's still saying that intent is undefined hmm so here you need to know that what is the intent okay so let's go here and let me copy this from this uh, blog so you can also get this from your documentation okay so i'm not going to waste your time that's why i'm doing this through this okay show subscription and uh, this user instance uh, uh, creating this create a setup intent okay so you need to pass this from your view so we are returning it from the home controller why because we opened a home view and this home view is rendering here so you need to pass it here right so I'm, i pass this intent and here i'm doing this so you can save this in the variable or you can do this auth user directly okay i'm doing this through this to make this properly okay so now user uh, can access this method right so this method is available in the billable trait okay so this intent is passed to this uh, home and then it's, it's not going to throw any error why it's showing the error because it's uh, in the it's using in this uh, script tag so that's why it's uh, displaying that undefined variable okay give it a refresh and hope uh, it's going to work and yes uh, it's uh, working and rendering card number FCV, and everything is good so it's also validate everything that your card number field your expiry month and stuff like that right so I'll display this and yes it's working this means that our card uh, field and number and these fields are working so let me check the time and it's going this video is going bigger so we will cover this in the next video that how we can charge our customer so i will meet you in the next one bye bye